Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Michelle Fami. Today, I'm gonna invite you to eat lunch with me. It's not gonna be a huge lobster McBang, but it's gonna have to happen. We're having kale today. Before I start, please remember to subscribe to my channel, Michelle Fami, to get notifications of more new videos. Let's go to the kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to make it. In a non-stick skillet, I'm gonna start the pan on medium heat. And I have my eggs on the side too. I'm gonna add the kale in and after it sizzles, you're gonna add half a cup of water into the pan. I'm gonna give it a stir around with my little spatula. And at the end, some salt and pepper. And let the water cook out. olive oil and a squeeze of lime. I have cut up my boiled egg on top and some pumpkin seeds and we're done. Let's eat. Alright guys, as you can see it was really easy, no oil needed to saute your kale. Um, so let's get started. All right, I'm gonna mix it up. But you can add any type of seed you want. You can do sunflower seeds, which are really good too. A little protein with the egg. You can even do like a slice of um, any deli meat that you can shred up and put on top. Just gonna give it a mix. I added the squeeze of lime at the end, or you can do lemon. Oh, you know what would be really good too? Um, avocado. That'd be really good too. A good um, fat for your body. All right, let's take a bite. A little egg. I really wish I had sesame oil, but it's been really hard these days to go to the Asian supermarket or even... Um, you know, we only shop once a week at the grocery store and sometimes I just forget. But sesame oil is really good too. You can even add vinegar or your own like balsamic vinaigrette. You ready? Just a little egg. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. I really like it with the boiled egg. Kale is really hearty. Like, you're gonna have to use some effort to like chew through it. It really looks like, if you guys remember going to um, Applebee's back then, it's like the fake decoration lettuce that they put on the, the side of your plate. I've always thought that you could eat it, but now my mom stopped me. Mm. Have you had lunch yet today? I know, really, really attractive eating kale. It's not a lobster McBang, everybody. I know it's hard. But it has to happen, right? Mm. At least you can make it taste good, you know? This recipe, it's super easy. It takes five minutes. trying to cut down on the sodium too so I did not add um any dressing like store-bought dressing you can control the salt content in here 
if you make your own vinaigrette, that's awesome too. I just did something real quick and easy. Another good idea, this would be a really good side dish if you um, bring to a potluck, like Thanksgiving. You can even add roasted um, vegetables on top, like roasted um, squash or pumpkin. That, uh, that'll add a lot of extra flavor too. Along with like pumpkin seeds. Exhale, go down real easy. Not bad of a meal. Okay, let's talk. If you guys don't know, there's this model. Um, she's a sports car model. Uh, her name is Danny Riel, and she says, I eat like a pig and work out like a monster. So I feel like I qualify with her. And um, it's really hard these days, especially when quarantine, um, we're putting on a little extra weight because we're not working. And I feel like it's not gonna be easy. It's everything is gonna be in moderation and everything's gonna be, um, you have to take easy steps. One of the people that really surprised me is Adrienne Bailon. If you guys um, follow her on All Things Adrienne, she is one of the biggest foodies and she went vegan, you know, that was really amazing and really inspiring. If you haven't um, seen her channel, go stop by her channel. She shows you how to um, become vegan and uh, try to survive her um, really busy lifestyle. I've had a vegan diet for like two days in a row and I felt like I was going to die. All right, so it's hard. So what steps um, can I take? So the first step that I find that's really helpful is you're going to have to stop being a social butterfly. And thank God all the restaurants are um, closed right now because I cannot sit there for two hours and munch and munch with other people who who are gonna order a bunch of good food. Um, at home, I do most of the cooking. So, but right now, no one's home. I'm eating lunch by myself. So the first thing is to eat by yourself for one meal. I mean, if you can do it, surround yourself with other people eating a steak in front of you or a big cheeseburger, you know, if you can do it, great. But the first step, like make one healthier choice uh and uh stick to it eat by yourself um turn on your favorite movie your favorite um youtube channel and or eat with me like you can feel that you can feel better too um i don't feel bloated um and uh, you can even add you know bacon uh, it has a little extra fat a little extra calories but at least it's a good first step and then the, the next time you can try with an egg like me you know so that's the first step um, eat by yourself one healthier um, choice a day all right the second step you guys is to hydrate more I find one of the easiest ways is if you have a mason jar and fill it up all the way to the top and then it's clear so you can really see what you're drinking. Um, so I feel good when it gets low like this. My last and final tip really is to choose a sport that uh, you really enjoy, okay? Um, have fun playing with other people and commit to it. You know, I've grown up playing tennis and recently they've closed the tennis courts and it's it's really a disaster. Like that, that was my main source of exercise. And I, I was just really, um, really sad that they closed it. And now, um, they finally opened the tennis courts again. We're going to play tennis and choose a schedule. Right now it's easier because most of us are not working, but, uh, we play for two hours each time. So that's a lot of exercise. 
um, and at least twice a week. We play every morning on a Saturday or Sunday. That was when um, I had a lot of things going on, school and uh, work, but now that it's quarantine, I can play three to four times a week, okay? So I want to also update you on future videos. Um, I will be sharing you a real journey of me um, trying to lose some weight. And uh, it's going to be real. You're going to watch someone struggle, but at least we're going to struggle together. Now, before I go, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Give it a like, give it a comment. Um, please share it with your friends and support my channel, Michelle Family. And see you in the next video.